We've been all over the place. In YouTube land. Yeah. Yes. You guys, I don't right. know. Ready? I did my best. It's what I felt. Huh. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so interestingly, up comes the Five of Swords. This is the Rock and the Hard Place card. This is the can't, you can't win. There's no, it's not a win win. Oh, well, I, she and I disagree on the interpretation of the card, so I'll let her go first. Yes, yes. But this card basically says you got to find a win win situation. Go ahead. Okay. Well, the way I see it is that, you see, the image is of a battle that has just been fought. And the person in the foreground is you. So you did win this battle. But the two people that are walking away are, let's just say they're disgruntled. You may have won this particular battle, but you didn't win any friends. And it ain't over yet. So... Well, you might have won the battle, but you haven't won the war. You haven't won the war yet, but you have won a battle. Yes, but and it also is at a cost. At some sort of cost. Yes. Yes. It's a warning card. Right. So you either lose the friendship mm -hmm. of those with whom you have been battling, mm -hmm. or the enemy, the person that was battling with you is um, nefarious. But see, I actually agree with you. I However, do. I do believe this is a warning card from spirit whenever mm -hmm. it comes up. It it's is. like spirit saying, hey, step back and think. Right. Because th you're gonna lose something even though you may win you will lose right so it yeah. is not a win-win no it isn't a win-win in that way but it's interesting because if you see it again i see what's depicted in the in the picture but i also see outside of it what comes in the future right and a consequence of this may be later on that they come back it's like a karma card too. like a karma card yeah like, you it's know, a warning that, that you could create. You're creating something here that is not uh, resolved here. Yeah. So you may do something that you'll regret it. later. <laughs> well, you have to do it. You have to. You have to fight this battle. I think you do. I don't. That's no. where we disagree. I don't. I don't think you always have to fight a battle. I don't think you always have to meet a bully on on the playground. And I don't think you always have to, if you feel as if you have to get back at someone. I don't it's think it's not getting back. It's it's literally, to me, it's not. I certainly don't believe in battles like that. Yes, and revenge. I guess revenge I don't battle. believe in no, revenge. No, I don't see it as revenge. See, no. I don't see the whole scenario as a revenge. Well, scenario. that's one scenario. Yeah, that is one. That is one. But that is not a good one. But. But when you are fighting a noble battle, where well, you say fighting for your family, if you family, look at this card and you look at your... the guy's expression, he doesn't look too noble. Well, that's not how I see it. But that's okay because basically I think we're saying the same All right. thing. We which sometimes is, disagree and that way you learn also a yeah, little bit more about, about the, the, cards. The, the possibilities mm -hmm. within the cards. That's right. So let's see what goes on. But we yet. do agree that yes. it's not a win-win situation. It's not a win-win situation, yes. definitely. That's we do true. agree on that. See, here we go. Challenge. So, you are main, guard. You're, you're, then you, then you, your challenge is to stay on guard, you see? Because the nine of wands upright is your challenge. So you're standing, kind of protecting your passions, that which you have constructed the 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 life you've constructed the passion the what what means something to right. you so this is vigilance uh, this is you you see it's a very interesting it comes right after the battle right and it, there he stands with his band uh, bandage mm -hmm. bandage oh, yeah. head right so he's been through the battle mm -hmm. right but he's not again 
come to the finish line, mm -hmm. which it would be the 10. Right. So he stands there kind of paranoid. Yeah, I was going to say, to me, because it's in the challenge position and it's the 9, it's being a little bit overly defensive. It can be. Because you're defending your ideas, your paranoid. passions, your, like... Yes. I mean, you feel very strongly about these things yes. that you've put together. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of between, yeah. You feel strongly passion. about what you've done. Yes, you've created you because feel strongly. the wants is about what you've done. So you're standing in front of all that you feel strongly about, mm -hmm. and that you've actually battled over and for. Fought for. Then that's your challenge. Well, that's your challenge. That's your challenge. The challenge is to... Maybe to be able to do that. Maybe, maybe you're running out of steam. Well, after the battle... You might be running out of steam. You don't want to You don't want to do it, but you have to stay vigilant. Basically. I don't know if you have to stay vigilant. I well, think it's, it's a, a warning. It could be both ways. I think it yeah, could be, it could be a both warning. Ways. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what happens unexpectedly. Look at that. So... Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands upright. Unexpectedly. Wow, Libra. You okay, what an interesting card. <laughs> it's just an interesting tenth reading. Wand. It is very interesting. You get the tenth wand. Now that's interesting. Yeah, that so you idea. see he's yeah, because you're being offered sort of something to help you conclude your project, your, your, your endeavor, your business, your passions, uh, something, you're, you're being offered something that ex ignites within you passion. Yeah, well there's, I almost see this as, as um, being distracted oh. with a new passion. Oh. A new, I, um, like all of a sudden you have this lust for some other direction. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know yet. Let's look at the Let's last Let's look part. at the last one. That's very, yeah. oh. Okay. I don't want to have any Libras sending me bad comments. <laughs> Maybe we should give all the Libras free council cards this month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was her fault. Yes. So, um, it's the nine of swords. Okay. So it does cause you some worry. Well, something. Okay. Right. These two cards. There's These some ones. ongoing situation here. Yeah. Something's got you going. Right. And it's, the it's nine causing of you a lot of turmoil. Right. And a lot of angst. Right. And um, especially when you're alone at night. Most particularly. You may be crying even. It's a gloomy. It's, it's gloomy, gloomy fear. Night. It's also, um, it's, it's, you know, this is a card that says, yeah, you may be shedding some tears. Yeah, yeah. Over this situation. Over this situation. Right yeah, here. because you have had to go to war and yes. you've won. Oh, yes, you've won. You but are still cautious. Or you're put in a position where your challenge is to remain vigilant cautious. and cautious. cautious. There's caution required. And that caution. is a challenge for you. And why is that? Well, because something within this situation you still feel passionate about. You still feel passionate about. Right. Yes. Exactly. Or for. You haven't left it. No. Unexpectedly, you want... It's either you're offered some passionate opportunity, a new passionate opportunity, or you yourself initiate something new. You but want, within the situation. But within the situation. Because the situation is driving you to tears almost. Yes. Because there's something in the situation that you that you feel passionate. About. about right and I think that just unexpectedly instead of um, at night time you may be maybe you see something new Paul comes over yeah you, you know yeah but 
But I, this is in the unexpected, so it's almost as if all of these things are going on. Right. You've had to go fight with this person or over this thing. Or an issue. Or and, def and remain vigilant and defend mm -hmm. either yourself or what you've built. Right. And then it's as if you wake up one day and you see something that you still desire. Yes. And you want to go after it. it you within want to the situation. Right. And you, you want to go back to the wanna, beginning. And you want to go back to the beginning and start Where all over again. Where you felt that. But you feel disappointed at the end. Yeah. Okay. So that's what, uh, goodness. Let's do a fifth card right here on camera. We've never to? done that. Yeah. Let's really? draw one. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I feel like we needed to. Okay, you guys get the extra special five card reading. <laughs> Only for you, Libra. And you needed it. You did. They just got their council card. That, that came from the mercy. Yeah. <laughs> well, remember I said they get a free council card? There it is. There it is. The All fool, right, the major fool. arcana. We only read major arcana for the council card. So what you want to do is you want to liberate yourself. Yes, exactly. Let go of Let everything. Go of travel everything. light. Right. In fact, travel. Get that rid of it might all. Might be a good idea too. Literally, divest. Travel. Right. travel. Start anew. Yes, you need to start over. You need to start <laughs> all over. Let go of all that. Yes. And uh, because be that's spontaneous. Really what this be and saying. yes, be be spontaneous. Be um, resurrect a certain amount of purity and innocence back into your heart. Become more faithful and trusting in the universe and it will protect you and also open yourself up to the journey yeah because sure. this is a new journey that you need to embark upon which means you need to go through yeah all of the major the royal road you need to begin to travel that royal road again and um, you can watch our tarot lesson for a little more insight on what the Royal Road yes. is all about. But there are 22 cards in the Major Arcana. Yeah. And um, you can travel through each one. You can travel through each one. And, yeah. And um, not get stuck really, in this no-win situation. Right. Whatever this situation is, is a no-win situation. You need to let go. That's obviously what's, what's uh, the... Um, let We're, it go. What, what the formula is for success here is a deep let go. Right. So whatever the situation is, because it could be... It could be a multiple... Your situation with a family member. Uh -huh. It could be a situation at work. Uh-huh. It could be a situation with your lover. <laughs> <laughs> An old friend. An old friend. Who you need to let go. Yes. But it's so, just, you know... The whole situation is worrying you beyond the actual um yeah because this is the worst yeah. i have to say if in terms of worry yeah conscious worry, worry where part. you're up all night pacing the floor yeah. crying yeah you know eating haagen does like stress <sighs> eating stress eating but the next card certainly shows your way out that's yes and the way out this of is that is to re card. reduce yourself to zero Divest, divest, get rid divest, of the emotional divest, baggage. Right. Emotional and even material baggage sometimes. Right, and decide what you want yeah. the there outcome to be. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Libra needs to decide what they want. Because before you can go on a trip, you need to decide where you're going to go. Yeah, where you, well, he's not so much interested in his goal, really. He's sort of just interested, you know, it's often the, um, the process mm -hmm. that's as important as the goal is. And right. that's a card that often is about the process, just about oh, yeah, smelling the true. flowers, you know, and, and enjoying life mm -hmm. as opposed to saying, oh, I've got to get there because I'll make that much money if I do this. That's right. Oh, well, that's very true. Yeah. It's he, well, he's the hitchhiker on the he's side the of the road. He doesn't care. He says, where are you going? All right, that's good enough for me. But he doesn't have all the responsibility of the guy who's driving the BMW. That's right, he doesn't. But sometimes we need to divest ourselves from responsibility. because The BMW and the big giant it, mortgage it causes, and the country club membership. Yeah, it causes 
all that. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Thanks so much Thank for joining you, us, Libra. Friend. And I want to see some comments about the free council car that you just got in the comments section. <laughs> oh, it is the first time in, in the history of virtual in the history tarot. Of virtual tarot that we've actually done that, and it was very beautiful. Yes, it so, was. So thank you very much. Join us in the tea room. Don't uh -huh. forget to su subscribe. 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 It's hard to say that word. <laughs> subscribe, please. Thank you. To our secret channel. And to our secret She's rushing channel. me off screen here. I am. <laughs> Subscribe to our secret channel. And we'll see you in the tea room. There's something in my nose. All right. <laughs> and it's itching and I'm just like, I can't take it anymore. I've okay. been trying, because I notice on camera, I'm always touching my nose. What are you trying to go to sleep on no. me over here? No. <laughs> She's like, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Get out of here. One more. <laughs> Whew, these gloves are hot. All right, are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Trudy's gloves are hot. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Hot, hot arms. Yes, they are. Well, let's greet them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>